What's up guys, it's Asia Kamara here back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me slash let you guys see how I clean up like little mistakes and give you some tips and tricks. First you're going to start off by moisturizing your face. Then you're going to moisturize your lips. In this next step I'm just showing you how I prep my eyebrows. If you have grown out hair, go ahead and remove those for a smoother foundation for your eyebrows. To see how I apply my eyebrows, check out my previous tutorial on how to achieve flawless brows. Now for this last step, you're going to trim your flyaways. Make sure you are ready to set your eyelid as soon as you finish blending it out or it's gonna end up looking like this and you do not want to crease in your brow. I'm gonna use my NYX HD Finishing Powder because I like the shade and I like the way that it sits on my eye. And I'm just gonna dab over it so I can set this in place. Okay, for your next step, you're gonna take your Morphe or a brush like this Morphe M443 brush and you're gonna dab in the corner. Kind of like in the middle, just kind of dab with the color of your choice. So this is like your base color, your foundation color. This is what works best for me. So then you're gonna take your brush and you're going to start sweeping back and forth. I even sometimes do this so I can like make sure it's not creased, it's nice and blended. And then back and forth here. Then you're going to continue to repeat these steps and build and blend until the color is as pigmented as you would like it. Going back in, mix these two at first. Use those shades together in the top part of my lid. And then now I'm going back in with the, the darker shade here. And just hitting that crease area, just packing it on. To define my crease, I'm going to go in with my Morphe M431 brush, and I'm using Thin Noodles, and then I'm also using Extra Curricular. And I'm going to hit the corner of my eye again. So here I'm just continuing to build with those same shades on the outer corner of my eyelid and then blending on the inner corner. And you're going to take your blending brush. This is the M433 brush. And then you're just going to drag those colors a little more in. I'm going to go back in with my M443 brush and blend it out. So when you get to the part where you really want to blend it out, you see it kind of looks blotchy. You're going to go ahead and dust your brush off as much as possible and then just take it and circular motions on the outside again and just blend if i notice that i'm having a hard time blending here i'll just pull my skin up and just Blend it out in a circular motion. I prefer to have darker um, corners of my eyes, so I'm going to go in with this um, Keep It PG in my ColourPop palette, and I'm going to just dab the bottom. And 
Now I'm going in, I'm going to go into the Cuba VG, the thin noodles, and the extracurricular because I'm I'm the type of person that likes to mix my shadows for dimension, so that's why you see me going in to the three different colors. The more dramatic you want your shadow, the more you're going to build. All right, the next step is concealer. I'm going to use my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in the shade medium beige. So you wanna take a generous amount of concealer Whenever you apply your concealer and a little goes above your crease line, that's what you're going to use as your guideline for your cut crease. Now today I'm not going to do like a defined cut crease. This is Me like the mistake, but I'm gonna show you how I fix that. Okay, I'll take the end of this and I wet it a little bit, and then I just press and pull. I like erasing it. Go on with the transition shade a little, a little too high. You can correct that by just blending it out with your 443 brush. Now I'm going back in with my M433 brush and the shade Keep It PG and applying it to the outer V portion of my eyelid. Then go back in with your nip flip shade and kind of I'm going back in and just cleaning this up a little bit. With my M443 brush and my shade of extra curricular.
I'm going to go in with my Teddy Bear shade and just slightly go over where I did the concealer. If you're a person that doesn't have a lot of brushes, I just jack this up in here. You can um, always use your finger, it also makes it more vibrant. It makes it nice and popping for you. The next thing I do is eyeliner because with my eyes, I don't know what it is, but like on this eye, whenever I do place my eyeliner on after I do, I've done my concealer, I always have a black spot there. We don't want that. And I always start my liner in the middle. Then I go from the inner corner back to the middle. And then I go to the outside. Then I go from the outer corner back to the middle. Next, you want to take your wipe and clean up your liner. Clean up excess concealer and makeup underneath your eye. The next thing I do is go in with my concealer. I really like this concealer, it's called Conceal It. It helps to balance out the brightness of the e.l.f. concealer. I also use it to help blend out my foundation because my foundation is also a little too light. For this next step, you're just going to blend out the foundation be careful not to blend the light areas with your foundation. As you can see, I'm going around the concealer. I always blend the inner corners first and then work my way out. After blending the inner corners, I take my angled brush and take some product from the middle of my face, underline my wing liner and the outside of my lid. I take that and blend that concealer down and then I work my way back to the middle of my face. Then I just blend everything in. Set your concealer. Everywhere that you put concealer, set. You want to move fast so you don't get creases up underneath your eye. I take my concealer because it's a little too light up here. Just add this to the outside. For this step, you would normally be using foundation, but because my foundation is way too light, I'm using the darker shade of concealer instead. Blend. While I bake, I like to go ahead and contour, and I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Chestnut.
Now I'm going in with my smaller blending brush and blending out my nose contour. Okay, so I'm having to do a lot of things off camera because I don't have a lot of storage. So if you guys know any tips or tricks to get more storage on your phone besides deleting stuff because I've already deleted almost everything and it's still saying I don't have storage, please let me know because I'm highly irritated at this moment. Okay, let's try to get this eyelash on before the camera goes off again. So stick it underneath. Press it down. Add your eyeliner. Add your eyeshadow to your lower lash line. Add your highlight. I like using my finger. As I said before, I feel like the warmth from my body creates a more vibrant look when I am applying shimmery shadows or highlight. So this is why you see me using my finger. All right, and that completes the look. I hope you all enjoyed this video on my tips and tricks for how I apply my makeup. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and also click on that bell for post notifications every single time I post.